Hi everyone, I'm Joanna Blair, Scholarly Communications Librarian at Centennial, and I'm going to talk to you today about searching for open educational resources. Now my first tip uh, is to temper your expectations a little bit. It's hard to find that single textbook uh, or single open textbook to replace your current textbook. You're more likely to succeed if you if you take a mix and match approach and maybe look for individual pieces that are open and then put them together into your course. And I'll give you some, some tips on where to look. Okay. So what I'm going to do is suggest that you start by looking at your weekly schedule and your learning outcomes. Okay, so if I am teaching a course on information literacy, uh, I might have week one as my main topic to, to evaluate authority. Uh, so I'm going to match that to a material type. So it could be a reading, and I know, I know we often think of, about textbooks and articles, but it might just as well be an activity um, and maybe even a discussion activity. Uh, it might be a video. Okay, so it doesn't have to just be readings. Um, and you might have more success by looking for the individual topic than you will for the, for the, the textbook topic. So keep that in mind as you are searching, okay, as well as keep in mind what material you think would best match your learning outcome. All right, your step after that is to look at some open educational resource repositories, and I will give you a list of those in a minute. And if you are not finding what you're looking for, I would suggest trying a different repository or changing your search terms a little bit. So I am using the term information literacy, but if I were in the UK, I would be using the term information fluency. So sometimes switching up your search terms will make, make a big difference. All right. So I wanna let you know that there is a guide on the library website, and I've got the URL down here, uh, that has an, an extensive list of open educational resource collections. And you can, you can search for resources in any of these. I have a couple of favorites, and so I have a slide that lists my favorites. If I'm looking for an open textbook, so a single source to replace my, my current textbook, there are open textbook libraries, uh, and I'm going to start with eCampus Ontario Open Textbook Library because it is a great resource for Canadian uh, content. The other thing, I, we're, we're then going to move on to open educational resource repositories, and they have more of those pieces. So if I'm looking for a homework activity, if I'm looking for a case study or a rubric or even an entire course, I might find that uh, more easily through an OER repository than I would through an open textbook library. Okay, depending on what you're looking for, you can start in either place. I'm going to start at eCampus Ontario, and I'm going to look for that perfect textbook on information literacy. There we go. Uh, I am using quotation marks so that it searches for those two words right next to each other. And I've got, I've got three results. Okay, so I'm going to look through my titles and click on one. And what I will get is a nice description of my open textbook. Okay, so it's going to tell me whether or not it's been reviewed, uh, publication date, and, and importantly, it's going to tell you the license. Okay, so it's CC BY. I know I can use it. I can adapt it. Here are the different formats where I can download it. Uh, I can read a bit more about the author and the institutional affiliation. But I also want to read it online. So I'm going to go and check out this book. Uh, I have to click through a couple of times, and I want to encourage you when you find these books online uh, to look through the table of contents. Even if the title of the book isn't a perfect match, you might find that some of the, the chapters are a good match for your content, or maybe just one week of your content. Okay, so if I look through this, this list of um, chapter titles, uh, there is one on evaluating authority. Uh, there's even activities on how to evaluate. So, so this might be a good match for part of my course, even if it's not a good match for the entire thing. Okay, so, so dig into the sources that you find is, is one of my tips. Okay, and if you did want to grab just one chapter, you can always grab the, the link uh, to the online, online resource and add that to your course. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my slide. So I'll, that was an example of an open textbook library. If you're not finding everything you need, I would suggest going to an open educational resource repository. And one that I really like is open, or sorry, OER Commons. You can find all of these repositories open, 
open on the web. So you can you can Google OER Commons or you can go to the, the library guide that has the exhaustive list. So I'm going to do a search here uh, for evaluate authority. And the nice thing about this resource is it lets you narrow by education level. So I can say, you know what, I only want community college resources on this on this topic. And here we go. I've got 27 results. And you can see these records are telling me, uh, okay, for material type, there's lesson plans, uh, there's, there's activities, labs, lectures, and I can actually, over on the left, limit my material type to uh, a case study or an assessment. Uh, I'm going to limit here to, uh, to a homework assignment because I am looking for an activity for this topic. Okay. So again, I am finding a little bit of information about the, the source. I can remix, I can share. And if I click into it, I might have to click in a couple times to actually get the resource. Uh, OER Commons collects from several different uh, sources. So I might have to click into a different, uh, a different collection. But it is telling me again, my license restrictions, telling me a little bit about the, the resource and I can click into the resource itself uh, and examine it and see if it's, if it's a good match for my, uh, for, for my learning outcomes. So I'm going to download uh, and then open it up and I get to evaluate it. And because I know the license restrictions on this, if this source is not the perfect match for my environment, oh, let me close that up. Uh, I can edit it. Uh, I know what the permissions are on this source. I know I've been I've been given permission to to use it and adapt it, so I can start editing and make it perfect for my my classroom situation. Okay, I hope that helped. Uh, you know where to go to to get that exhaustive exhaustive list of uh, of OER repositories. And if you do need any help finding your material, feel free to reach out to your liaison librarian. I've got them all listed here. And good luck with this. Thanks.